Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna do an unboxing. So, with the first time I uh, you know, bought supplies, I went to SprayPlanet.com. I'm not sponsored or anything, that'd be sweet. So the first time I bought just a sampler pack of the uh, Montana Hardcore, because it was cheaper. But uh, you may have noticed in my previous videos, I kind of uh, was surprised about how it's such a high pressure can. And I think that is causing me not to be as precise. It also could be just, I'm not that good yet. <laughs> this time I'm gonna get another sampler pack, but I decided to, to up the ante and I spent like a little over $200 on a huge uh, supply pack of the Montana 94 cans. Uh, okay, good. Camera didn't fall this time. So I'm just gonna dive into it. All right, let's open this baby up. As you can see, big old Spray Planet logo. Let's pop it open. So my, my whole thought process of getting the, the sampler packs is I get a variety of colors and I don't necessarily decide what the colors. It's just kind of a wide range, right, wide range. Thank you for showing some love. No, thank you. All right, what do we got here? Uh, some pamphlet. Ooh, using spray paint. Looks like it has a bunch of examples and some tutorials. More advertising. That's good. Oh, that's money. I need to learn my caps, and this is actually a good guide for that. So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to tape that on the wall or something so I can check it out. Ooh, lots of caps. Maybe I can understand which ones mean what. Put this off to the side. Ooh, got some stickers. Let's see. A little shiny MTN. Spray Planet logo. Nice tag there. Ooh, I dig it. I dig it. Let's put this off to the side. Three little stickers. All right. Now, I said I have uh, uh, a variety pack so I can randomly choose like with the colors I have, but I did buy some extra ones. So I got, I got a cyan and I got a, a light red. There are some patterns and some uh, different kind of designs I could, uh, that I've seen online that I want to try. And one of them is the glitch pattern and having this cyan and this uh, red is going to be perfect. It's going to work with that really well. Oh, I also got um, shadow black. I know I could use normal black to get some shadows in there, but having a shadow black is money. All right, let's see if I can get this over a little bit. What else do I got? Ooh, an empty box. That's always fun. That guy's filled out. Actually, I'm gonna start stacking them in here. This is like Christmas. This is a lot of colors. All right, let's go on two by two, because I think a lot of them are doubled up. All right, what do we got here? Destiny Violet. I like these kind of like pastel looking colors. Put that off to the side. Let's open up some more. Two more of the Barcelona Blue. There we go. That looks pretty. This is a little bit darker blue. This is the, the Freedom Blue. Very nice. There's another Sixer in there. Creeping. Uh, next step. All right, let's go, let's go for this one right here. All right. Uh, solar orange. I like this, uh, this variety pack because it's got like a lot of pastel colors and it's a couple pieces I want to do with this color scheme. What, what else do we got next? We got some guacamole green. Ooh, fresh guacamole. None of that day old stuff. All right, and we got turquoise. Beautiful. My kids literally had an argument between each other. The five and three year old had an argument. What is turquoise? And one was shouting, it's blue. And one of them was shouting green. And uh, I let them go on for about 10 minutes. And then I told them they were both right. There we go. Let's get this in here. 
Beautiful. Oh. Oh. All right, cool. Got just the matte white. That's perfect. I don't have any white yet, and this will work really well. I still have a lot of the hardcore blacks. It's a high pressure, and this would be good for some throwies that I'm going to put on my new wall that I'm going to build in a future episode pretty soon. That should be a lot of fun. Got a Chris on the new board, you know. Here's my matte black. So with these uh, low pressure cans, I think I'll have more control. I'll be able to hopefully get like crisper lines and have a better flow as I go through everything. Here's my valley green. I think it's going to go well between this turquoise and uh, guacamole. Nice. There we go. Oh, it's stacking up over here. It's almost to my shoulder. Let's get another one. All right. I'm just going to pull it up from down here. Got my light yellow. I'm not sure if it's going to be... Oh, I do have an idea for the a piece that uses a lot of yellow. Just hope this is enough. Should be. If not, I'll buy some more. What's this? This is just straight orange. And it's beautiful pink. I think it just says Erica. Doesn't doesn't have an actual color on it. Maybe Erica is the color. Alright. Ah. So how many cans is that? Six. 12, 18, 24, 27 cans so far. All right, what, what do we got here? I think this is just my blacks. Okay, so it's beautiful to have a lot of black, a lot of outline stuff, and some fill-ins too. So I'm gonna have a lot of these to work with, which I am grateful for. For that handle. Okay, down to the last one. Let's get you out of here. All right, here's my just Madrid red right here. And some more pinks. Well, how does this compare? This is called this one's the chewing gum compared to this Erica. Real nice together. The only other pink I have is this hardcore pink, but that's a little bit more brutal. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is all super exciting. Shiva Violet. A little pastel purple. Oh my god. Can't wait to get painting with all these. So in summary, let's try to see if I can get all of these up. Boom. Boom. Blacks lined up together. Boom. Boom. There's my my shadow my shadow black. That's my haul. This is this is awesome. All right, guys, I'm gonna stock these up real quick. Look at these. Oh my god, look at all these colors. Oh. All right, guys, that's it for the unboxing. But there's another thing I want to do for this video is actually kind of give a uh, kind of an update. What my uh, intentions are for this like super young channel. Um, I want to keep on doing art and kind of doing my own thing. But I do want the I do want the the channel to grow, so I'm, I'm going to start like laying down some intentions and what my goals are for the channel. And I think I think where I'm going to go with it now is like I'm going to have three main uh, main series, like just a running of videos where I can pop in most of them. And I'm going to do uh, the first series is going to be like kind of like a running thing of what this is. It's like unboxing paint, kind of like a little vlog, like. What am I thinking? What am I planning on? Any other ideas? And maybe, you know, just kind of like think of uh, think of new ways to like create some art. Not necessarily do the painting, but like just just talk about it, you know. And another one was uh, another series is going to be me doing my own art and expressing my own style, like trying to find my style because there's a lot of stuff that's out there, but everyone has their own thing that they're good at, and I'm just looking to find that. And kind of do things that I think are important that I really enjoy and 
The third series, which is actually the one that I am most excited about, is I'm going to start a, start a series called Artistic Impressions. Now, what does that mean? That means, um, well, let's, let's go back. So when I first decided, yo, I, I want to do some graffiti. I want to, like, learn how to do, do it in different kinds that are out there. So instantly I went to Instagram. I went to YouTube. And I just, like, kind of Googled. And I found a couple people, like, that are super popular in the graffiti space. But uh, overall, it was, it was kind of a fight to, like, find the, the, the good channels of, like, searching around, like, people that have good uh, YouTube channels and the people that had uh, uh, excellent Instagram profiles. So what I want to do with artistic impressions is after all that, like, YouTube and Instagram research that I've done, I want to take certain artists that are big in the graffiti and street art space and do an episode on just them and their style and what they're good at. And once I have established that and once I've gone through like, um, oh, they're good with the bevel style, the neon style, the, the glitch pattern, so on and so forth, I will attempt that style myself as a way to learn from the best. You know, if anyone's ever had a uh, art class when they were growing up and they, uh, they look at like the Renaissance artists and they try to, you know, do their own Da Vinci or, or Michelangelo and try to like copy their style and learn from the greats. That's what I'm trying to do. I want to try to do uh, graffiti art from the, the Renaissance writers of today. <laughs> that sounds a little goofy, but that's my goal. And I think that's, that's what I'm most excited about is to actually bring value to all you, uh, all you people that are watching my channel of doing the research of looking for these great artists, distilling down what they are good at and going through it myself of learning that kind of style, learning the thing and definitely try to give them credit for like doing what they do best and kind of, uh, give them a, a, t a tip of the hat, if you will. But in probably three or four videos from now, so thanks for hanging around, guys. Peace.